This is the morning show on Listener Powered KEXP. Jen Grant in the studios. Welcome back. Hello. Welcome back to the new home. It's beautiful. Yeah, we will talk more about that, about the beautiful new record, and uh, a little bit more after a few new songs. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right. KEXP, Jen Grant, live here in the studios. New album is called Paradise. You got another one for us? I sure do, John. All right. <laughs> That'd be sad if you said no. You gotta go. <laughs> Can you hear me running through the tricks of time? Out on the road, screaming like my lungs on fire. Out of touch, fire and love. 
Jen Grant live here on the morning show with one of the best songs of the year. If you ask Stop me. it. It is. Stop. I play it all the time. <laughs> People seem to like it. You're my best friend. That's why I do it. <laughs> it is so good to have you back. Oh, we're so happy to be here. It took us lo- so long for the last session. Yes. I don't know how long it took us for this one. <laughs> but uh, you're all the way over in Nova Scotia. Mm-hmm. First question is, how many of us Americans can you fit if things keep getting worse down here? Oh, right? a lot. We have a big yeah. yard. Yeah. yeah it's okay. all good. Don't worry about and, it. Uh, and <laughs> do the Canadians want us up there? We do. I, oh, good. Especially in Cape Breton. There's so much space. You guys I, will be fine. I have the nicest uh, listeners who come, who ride in from Nova Scotia. Yeah. Uh, and they're psyched. They take a lot of pride in the music. Yeah. Yeah. So they were very happy you're going to be here today. And oh, you were, wonderful. Yeah. You were up in Vancouver? Yes. Just yesterday. I- and uh, show? Were you up there? Well, yeah. We had a solo show at the Billmore Cabaret. Awesome. Uh, it was great. Yeah. Um, yeah. We had an amazing time. And you took the train down. We did. It was a great ride. It was really lovely. Yes. Yeah. Tavo drank a beer as we crossed the border. I was very, very <laughs> proud about that. <laughs> nice work. Uh-huh. Yeah. The train down the West Coast is great. You get yeah. down to Portland, down to, yeah. down to San Francisco, um, and the West Coast. I mean, I'm biased. It's beautiful. Yeah, do you find it support? I've, we find it supportive of the arts when you come over here. Absolutely, you- yeah. And I mean, like Seattle is super cool. Yeah. Yeah, I want to play here more. Yeah, well, <laughs> you are right now, early in the morning. Can I ask you about the support of Canada and the arts a little sure, bit? Sure, yeah. You know, we face more and more cuts here in the United States, and uh-huh. it's, you know, the, the uh, it's not very supported anyway. Yeah. Uh, what's the support of artists in Canada? Uh, we have a lot of grant systems and work. Like, I mean, province of Nova Scotia, Music Nova Scotia is very supportive. Um, and then we've got Star Maker, which is amazing. It gives you money for, for playing live shows and, like, tour funding. And so we, um, we, we, you know, if you can sell enough records, you can apply kind of to be yeah. part of that program. And there's Factor who has helped me with some uh, touring support, but mostly um, we've made uh, a bit of a, d- done a lot of sort of stuff DIY too, because my husband Dan is a great record producer and he, um, as long as I keep him happy, he just keeps making me records. <laughs> and uh, that's been good for the last couple of records. So uh, we've kind of made those in-house too. So uh, 
being in a relationship uh -huh. uh, and in a band mm -hmm. and there's production, do you, are you able to separate the two when you have discussions? Is it as bandmates? Is it as partners hmm. or both? I think it's kind of a mixed bag. It's kind of like, this is our life. Like we, we were, you know, we're touring together, making records together. Um, um, yeah, we, uh, we, we like each other, don't we, Dan? <laughs> yep. And, That's uh, the right answer, Dan. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's a, our, our band is a family, and we have a great band. And um, um, and Dan and I love working. We love music. And Dan makes a lot of records. And I I love touring, and I love making records. And it's a, it's a beautiful life. Can you talk about the role of music in your life, why music yeah. matters to you? Uh, it's it's very important. Um, I mean, I've, since I was a little girl, I always wanted to be a singer. And uh, and I just feel like I, I, you know, I love creating music. And I it's what keeps me feeling alive. And, like, I'm contributing something to the world. And, uh, um, yeah, I find it exciting to, to come up with new songs, you know. And it's, it's, the, it's the thing that I love. So... Um, and I think Dan is the same with um, with making music, so we're a good fit that way. And the songs for Paradise, where did where did those come from? Where did well, lots of different places. Um, some of them came from my dreams. Um, I'm vivid. I have a dreamer, so um, I started using some of, some of those. Started filtering into my writing. Um, also, I think um, came from my, uh, like they're personal songs, but they're also you know written from a perspective of watching the world and how people react as a group to to things maybe to uh, there's a bit of um uh writing in on the album like when when david bowie died and mm -hmm. um prince died like the how how artists kind of reacted to that and how fans reacted to that and kind of like that sense of loss that also unites people uh, that is in and out of the writing and um yeah i think um just sort of abstracted versions of my daily life like we live in nova scotia this beautiful type of this beautiful space and um that falls into my writing as well and yeah with the dreams are you do you remember those do yeah. you have to write them down immediately or are you still no, can hold on to them i um i hold on to them sometimes like i feel like i can't even shake them off yeah um but i um i'm starting to kind of like i have sometimes email people like crazy dreams i've had about them or something mm -hmm. and um trying to document some of the some of those dreams now because i want to i want to hold on to some of those really special ones um there's a song on the album called Rocket that I wrote the night after David Bowie died. Um, that I had the the dream is like a literal translation of the of the song is a literal translation of the dream, I guess. Um, yeah, yeah, it's kind of a big part of my existence. Uh, from from what I've heard from musicians directly and, and in general, uh, can you imagine the release? Uh, how many songs would be on it of artists who wrote a song the night or night after Bowie died? I've heard that quite a few times. Mm -hmm. It'd be an amazing collection. Yeah, of songs. I should get on that. <laughs> Please do, and please don't forget about us. Yes. It's called Rocket. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. It'll be the opening track to the new compilation okay, great. of post-Bowie songs. I mean, that tells you the impact as his life had and how his music and his spirit keeps living. Yeah. We saw in the green room a painting of David Bowie in outer space. We, we, were, we, were, we were struck by how much it affected us and our listeners. I, I don't yeah. think you realize till someone passes what an artist means to you sometimes. Absolutely, yeah. Well, you're still here. Uh, and I'm yeah, very happy right. about that. Thank and you. Uh, you, what about um, what about shows? You gonna what's mm -hmm. where are you with the record and what you're doing right now? Well, we've just finished an Ontario and Western leg of Canada. Uh, we started in New York and Boston in the states, and then went into Canada. Um, so we're here now. We're we're playing in LA on on Friday, and we're gonna announce it's like a first come first serve. It's called School Night hmm. um, in Los Angeles and Hollywood, and uh, and then we're gonna do some Eastern Canada release shows, and then we're gonna go over to the UK and Ireland. Sounds great. Yeah. All right. Well, that's a good way to spend your year. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. This is Jen Grant and her band here on KXP. You got more for us? Yes, absolutely. This right. is called Align With Me. It's a duet with Dan. <laughs> I hear a voice like an echo chain calling me on back again. I see your eyes crystal blue, clear as day, calling me on back to you. Through the hemlock, I can see smoke rising, signaling. Falling with souls that I can call I will wait I will wait forever for you, babe Aaron's eagle 
fools passing by telling me it's no time to die I'm leaving on a new jet plane Ain't the same without you Cities every night don't compare to what we got. Do you want me? Do you want me? I'm golden and I'm holding you. Do you want me? Do you want me? I'm alive. I'm a keeper, light seeker, and I've got you. Do you want me to be golden? Be a golden lion with me, lie with me. Through the hemlock, I can see smoke rising, signaling me. Jen Grant, live here on The Morning Show. I love that one. That's so pretty. Thank you. Uh, Paradise, the name of the album, brand new from Jen Grant. And uh, they have one more for us, if you're ready. I'm a river falling deep. I'm an eagle, my soul to keep. I'm a mountain, I am the peak, I am the prairie, I am the heat. I got myself a set tonight, just take
Jen Grant live here on The Morning Show. Sounding great this morning. Thank you. You sound great, too. Well, that's nice. <laughs> that's, that's, all, that's nice. I don't hear that all the time. Mm, you sound that's great. Good. No, that's good. Uh, the new album is called Paradise, and one of my favorites, not just because you complimented me just now, but <laughs> it is a very good record, and I highly recommend it. And good luck with the rest of the shows. Thank you. And all the plans around the, uh, the record. And again, it's a very good record called Paradise from Jen Grant. And you'll be back, I think... What, in two years? We'll be back together. to see you. We can't wait. 20... Do you need anything next time? Like I... some maple syrup or something from Nova Scotia? Or... What, is the, what is the thing you bring from Nova Scotia? Is it maple syrup? I could bring my dogs. I could bring maple syrup. <laughs> I could... Is there, a, is there a, like, this is no, this is represents... Nova Scotia? Lobster. Lo- yeah, bring... I could bring some a, lo- a live lobster <laughs> bring from a Prince Edward Island. Lobster. Would you like that? Um, yeah, I, if you kept it alive, probably. Okay. Then I'd, I'll try. That'd be weird. It would. But I would appreciate okay. it. Okay. So a shout out to everybody up in Nova Scotia, too, who's listening today. That's Jen Grant. And a big right. thank you to our team here, uh, as always, for uh, these in-studio sessions. And a reminder, this independent nonprofit radio station, these sessions are because people support KEXP. So we thank all of you. Each of these sessions is, uh, well, they're really your fault. You did. <laughs> it's all your fault. We have all these live bands. So thank you so much for the support. I'll be back bright and early tomorrow at 6 a.m. This is Listener Powered KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.